probably been one of the best weeks I've ever had for a very, very long time. It's been amazing. Being here, just being around sort of similar minded people, even more minded people because the professionals, eating with them, talking with them, being around them, getting advice, being amazing. Um, just being amazing to ride with them and be around them. But I think the, the, one of the main things is, is not, to, not to train too hard. Do a lot of base miles, which I have done sort of in December and, and January but be happy with that, the, the consistency, and just put that in. You, you can put a little bit of intensity in there, but I, I think a lot of it is, is, is getting them miles in. Just trusting in your, your own ability then, um, that you've actually done that, them miles. First day we were sort of, um, we went out with Simone, again, who's a, a pro triathlete, who spookily enough was stopping in the next apartment to us, you know really well. So we went out on a, a long, long ride, which ended up being four and a half hours, but it felt like it felt like six and a half hours. The wind was horrendous. We would sort of headwind. We sort of for the first hour and a half it was sort of tailwind, but then we turned into it and then for the next sort of three hours all headwind. When I'm talking headwind, I'm talking going downhill, being having to get off out, out of the sea to go 10 miles an hour. It was that horrific in, in certain parts. But again, we saw a different part of the island. We went south and I went to El Golfo. Absolutely amazing scenery. Again, I went on the, the road bike. That was really just down to the, to the wind. Hats off, Simone was on a, a TT bike, which was unbelievable, really and hats off to, uh, to Jack for some, some of the filming he was doing. At one point going 45 mile an hour down the road, one-handed, going round a bend, taking photographs, which was, which was awesome. But my mum doesn't watch. <laughs> yeah. We went out for dinner, uh, we met Simone's friend, Justine, Justine. Theo, yeah, again, French uh, professional triathlete, um, come second at uh, Ironman Mallorca. To Ruth, really interesting girl, really sort of really nice. Had had tea with them, um, chatted through uh, all sorts of things, triathlon based, uh, which was great. So yeah, so really enjoyed that. Cat Matthews came out, uh, good friend of yours, Jack, yeah, and we, we went out road with her, uh, which was again, which was amazing. TT bike then came out, so sort of doing some um, sessions with her. Went out on a great. Uh, service road, great surface. We were able to get down to the bars. Went to Ozola, and yeah, that was just that was epic as well. Um, we got some great shots. We posted some of them on Instagram. The riding the TT bike next to a professional who's pretty good at riding TT bikes. Yeah, very good. Yeah, uh, was 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 great again. And, and and just listening to listening to the advice, talking about her training, talking about you know sort of different things that she does. I keep saying that word epic, but it was pretty epic. Yeah, the next riding partners, which, you know, been a bit of triathlon geek, riding with, with Tim Don and my coach, Ian Dempsey, who were out here at the, doing some work. It was great, again, you know, Tim Don's a legend in the, in the triathlon sport. So to be with Tim and Ian, both great guys, both, you know, we've had a great laugh with them. We've sort of, been out for a few meals, ridden with them, run with them. That was great. Went to the top of the highest mountain in yeah, in La Lanzarote, Tabesco. Great. Descended, which was unbelievable. Down some switchbacks. Never seen anybody descend like Tim and Ian as well. I mean sometimes they were down on the bars, which was just unbelievable. Then we had a problem. So uh, had a tangle with a uh, Renault Clio hit the wing mirror and that knocked me off the bike and then you know that sort of then caused an issue with my brake called that uh, ride to a halt quite quickly as we were in a valley and the only way out was go up a mountain and then down a mountain which without a back brake jack convinced me wasn't a good idea <laughs> <It was laughs> taxi for barker having a coffee 
and then get a t and I had to get a taxi back, which was a bit embarrassing. But you're okay. Yeah, the, but yeah, the, yeah, we took the again to the local bike shop where I rented the bike, and they fixed a couple of issues. One was the, the obviously the, the back brake, and then the actually chain was slipping um, when I put it into the uh, big gear at the back. So um, so that's sorted now. That was a bent hanger. Well, yeah, so that's sorted now. But the best day by far has been has been the long run on on the Sunday. I mean Ian and Tim was talking about it and they were saying yeah we'll do this we'll do that and I'm thinking blooming it we were up at I was up at half six this morning and I'm thinking is this going to be worth it but it, it was yeah it was unbelievable I mean an un unbelievable place to run hopefully you'll see some footage of that um, we had the drone up Jack got some photographs yeah, the next couple of days, I've got a session tomorrow, um, so it'll be uh, run a bike again. Hopefully getting into the TT position and doing some efforts, an easy run after that. Probably a run session on Tuesday morning um, before we fly back on Tuesday afternoon to the very, very cold UK. Um, we will not be wearing shorts and t-shirts at seven o'clock. Um, going out for pizza at, in the UK, I can, I can I guarantee. Maybe Jack will. Uh -huh. <laughs>